This video highlights two new features in SimCenter FEMAP version 2022.1. First, we'll cover a feature that has been requested by FEMAP users over the years, automatic hex-dominant meshing of CAD geometry. And second, we'll take a look at new functionality that can automatically refine mapped hexahedral meshes. Now, before we start, just want to point out that previous versions of FEMAP and current FEMAP have semi-automatic hexahedral meshing. Uh, but this does require you to carve up your geometry and quite frankly was more of an art than a science so you'd have to do you know a decent amount of work to carve up the geometry so that vmap could then set up connected mesh sizing and sweepable areas but it would require the uh, kind of split things up in a, you know pieces like this model that we've used in the past to demonstrate mesh updates but the beauty of the new hex dominant meshing is you don't have to do that anymore there's a new command mesh hex mesh bodies and similar to the body mesher you are giving a target mesh size something you're aiming for the fact that it can actually hex mesh requires that it have some freedom to get in and, and, and change node locations and and not be as constrained as regular FEMAP meshing I am going to set a size here that's kind of half of this thickness and you can specify exact pieces of geometry you want captured and associated. You can change the way mid site nodes are handled. We'll do all but bricks, and I'll show you what that does here at the end. We're going to go ahead and just let it fly. The mesher can take a little bit of time. It is a highly parallelized algorithm, so you will hear the processors and the fans on your... I guess the fans mainly fire up on your computer, so it'll be uh, crunching away pretty hard, but it is doing a fantastic mesh underneath. I did pause the record there for a little bit, but yeah, the meshing's done, and then the mid-side node processing uh, takes place afterwards. But you see here, we've got, turn off the geometry, a beautiful hex-dominant mesh. And when FEMAP puts out statistics on what it created, so 96% of the volume is, is encompassed by hexahedral elements. And the way the mesher works, let me show you here, we'll go to the, uh, the model info pane, Let's and let's go take a look at elements by shape and i'll show you exactly what's happening here so let's turn off we, we we said go with linear bricks so there's still transition to uh between the linear bricks and the the um, higher order elements so there's the linear bricks out here's the transition bricks out and then you're left with wedges pyramids and tetras so i'll just show you what we got here so here's the tetras kind of where they have to be but overall you've got a very hex dominant mesh 96 percent of the elements and just do a quick check here we'll check element quality it would have been reported if there was a problem you already would have seen this but just to show that we're going to run the nastran checks on this and all the elements pass the standard nastran checks all right, now let's take a look at the uh, mesh right down on the insides. We'll do a couple of view tricks here. I'm going to put it in wireframe mode, turn on the fill, and turn on the shading. This will draw every element, not just the outside. And then I can also turn on the shrink. So then we can get an idea of exactly kind of what's going on. You can see that there's just a lot of really nice hexahedral elements all the way across this. But to get a good look inside, I wrote a little API that I put on the toolbar here that'll, that'll sweep across the model. So let's go and just kind of look as it's going. And this is actually just using clipping and clipping off elements above a certain Y value. And you're seeing kind of what's on the inside. And you just see it's a fantastic hexahedral mesh. Let's let this run all the way across. And you'll see, you know, look at these all hexes coming across here. So it really is a high quality mesh even down on the inside. And the new command is mesh editing. It's right in here with the, the other element refine stuff for shell meshes. But there's a new map hex refine. And I'm going to change the pick mode. Let's get it on front. And I'm going to pick by faces. So I'm going to grab a face here and see that it gets all the elements on the top. And I can check and make sure it got them. And let's add connected elements twice. And we should have the first three rows of, of, of nice mapped hex mesh. And this has to be a mapped hex mesh to do this refinement. So now we'll say OK. And we can actually keep refining, but let's just do one level. 
and press the button in and out. You know, it's basically splitting all these hexes. If there were loads and boundary conditions on the mesh, things get split and put on there. But you'll see, you know, just a great way to refine a hex mesh, a perfectly mapped hex mesh in a local area.